what's cracking my killers welcome back to my place and indeed welcome to february already what yes indeed hope we're well hope we're not sick of me yet i uh, just want to say a big cheers to everybody for the amazing response to the tough trailer video that's gone down all right isn't it but yes he's still with me for the time being before he has to go home so i'm trying to spend every precious moment in his company anyway i've got a few boxes for you this evening just the three so let's uh, see what we can see box 55 one handley street nottingham and g1 5bl uk so we'll begin with this large long lad who's uh, taken a bit of a bashing on the way in. Oh no. But it's uh, mostly padding in there, so I'm thinking we'll probably be fine. God, I don't know whether to just go in via the wound. I feel like most of the work has already been done here. Ugh. Hello, Feudy Do. I have in this box some things that were gifted at Christmas that I already had, so need a good home. Apologies for the delay. I guarantee there was demonic invasion, not that I forgot to go to the post office. I mean, duh. And this is from Graham up in Scotland, who's a good lad who I hang out with at TF Nation sometimes. What we got? Smells vaguely of chips. Whoa, okay. Cool. Ultimate Guide to Vintage Transformers Action Figures. Oh, wow, look at this. God, look at that, man. Look at this photography. It's just a huge book of toy photos with all character stuff in. Ah, this is the dream. How vintage are we talking? How recent does it go? We're up to, uh, we've got Micro Masters. Oh, okay, it goes all the way up to Action Masters. Oh, it's Action Master Snarl. We got him the other day, didn't we? Oh, Carnivac. This is brilliant. I'm just hitting all the good ones. It's Crankcase. Oh, Crankcase is mildly mistransformed. Or is he? Oh God, have I been doing it wrong all this time? Are you just supposed to flip his backpack up when you do the weapons? This was not something I expected. Most unexpected. Nice one, Grey Bomb. I'm gonna call you Grey Bomb from now on. Oh, okay, there's some strange ones there. I'm not familiar with these. Oh, Power Dashers. Are these like mail aways? Yes, they were mail aways. Oh, aren't I a clever boy? Whoa. Okay, this is this is dynamite. I mean, I don't think there's much new information here I wasn't privy to, but like. Um. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? That's Gunrunner, and they've put Road Grabber in as part of Gunrunner. Whoops! Not that I'm the kind of person who would go into this looking for problems, but I did just find one within two minutes. Still though, you know what? This is really nice. Just the presentation's beautiful. It's a big, stonky, chunky book, and that is a lovely item. Thank you, Graham. Marvelous. Oh, we have a further item. <laughs> Yes, mate, it's Siege Optimus. What's all this? Oh yeah, god damn. I was so determined that I didn't want this because part of my brain is still checked off as having a modern Optimus because I bought Henke Convoy an actual decade ago, but I've been seeing so much good stuff about this guy. So yes, oh, I've got my work cut out, haven't I? I've got to get number 200 finished so we can move on. That's my big mission for February. I wanted to get it out by Christmas. Stuff just keeps coming up, man. What a really nice selection of like top level Transformers gear, vintage collection guide, and the newest Optimus Prime. Oh my god, they're doing a Cybertron one, aren't they? The leader class Cybertron Optimus. Hell yeah! Oh, Graham, you have spoiled me. That is absolute gold. Golden Graham. <sighs> Keeping warm anyway. Flipping nippy, in it. I was going to shave today and give you the full clean head few experience, but it's too cold. <laughs> like, even this, I've got like a millimeter of hair at the moment, and it still helps loads. Isn't the human body a miracle? Right, next up, we have a small reddish parcel, which is covered in silver tape, like a big old hashtag there. And I believe this is from uh, old Jim van der Kolk in the Netherlands, I think. This one has come from uh, the Dutchlands. It's so nicely wrapped. I, I don't really feel like I want to open it. Come on, you weirdo. Don't get precious about some wrapping paper. It's a matter of shoebox. Get off. Pure white shoes. I really hope that's what this is. Wartman. That's what they call me. Come on. Give him the stabbies. Oh, yes, here it is. Dear Sir Matthewius Adams, this box contains four robots and one little drawing. Enjoy. All the best, Jim. Is that the one little drawing? Sad bot logo. Oh. The also bot logo does look kind of sad, doesn't it? It's got like tear lines coming down. Anyway, let's see what old Jim's packed. Old J Vander K. Uh, this one is labeled yourself. Mildly terrified. Oh, cool. Whoa, look at that. This is one of the, um, is it uh, Energon Armor Hide? Or one of his repaints? Let's see if we can, uh... yeah, I recognize this from uh, the days when I used to cruise TF Wiki for pictures of Constructicons in the days before um, Combiner Wars Devastator. And there'd be all those like custom Devastators on all the boards with like mostly made out of Primus parts and uh, they all look like crap. Sorry. Sorry Frenzy Rumble. Oh my god. 
my god, that is me! What? Is this a custom job? Oh my god, it's got the beard and the flipping bald head. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Holy flip. I'm saying it's Energon Armorhide with some confidence like it's fact, but it may not be, I don't know. How much of this has been repainted? Do I have giant brown shins? Should I be wearing more cowboy boots? That is brill. Look at this guy. He's so wide. I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> that is superb. Yourself. I'm going to call him yourself because that's what the label said. I'm not quite in black and silver style today. I've got the old uh, normie jumper on. Because it's cold and I bold. Oh, oh no. I fired a thing. I didn't know it was going to do that. <laughs> Where's that gone? It's like he's transporting a lot of peas. <sighs> Jim, you're a genius. You're a gymnius. Ooh, that's tiny. Small boy. Accurate. Hello, this is, uh... This is one of the Decepticon military patrol. I'm sure I, um... Jim, you already gave me this. Is this a non-broken one of the broken one? Give me a second. Oh my god, it is! Look at this! This is a uh, MicroMaster Direct Hit. Jim gave me this recently. He gave me the whole set, but this one was broken. So he supplied me with a replacement item. God, that's brilliant! Might be time to review these then. Way! <laughs> you thoughtful binge! Golden 90s time bomb. Oh dear. Are we thinking gold plastic syndrome? Are we thinking Vault? Was it Vault or Jolt? Oh no, it is! It is him! The laser rod, what explodes! Oh, flip! I don't feel like I should be breathing near this. Um, it's cool though, isn't it? Look! Dead quick. Dead quick, like, that's really cool. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Like something from the movie Cars. With a strange, extremely 90s design, like a carpet at a hotel. And now I'll never touch it again. And that's the last time I'm touching that. Which I believe is what she said. Trash tank? That's rude. No tanks are trash. All tanks are valid. This is very light though. I feel like this might be a might be a fakeroo. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus. I feel like these weigh about the same. Oh god, that's so bad. What? What is that head? He's got like a like some kind of fluoro dairy looking head. Looks like Octane. God, Moctane. Just utterly appalling. A brawling. Five tanks are brawling. Oh, that's horrendous. <laughs> oh, Jim, you always come through with the unusual shit. So we have what I suspect is a custom me with what may well be a scratch build head. Or it might just be Rhinox, I can't really tell. On a big fat demolisher body. That's great. That's actually legit really impressive. <laughs> we have the crumbling car of mortal peril. And we have a replacement direct hit. What a legend! Jim Pressive. Good man. Okay, and our final package today, a free plug for Blink.com. I don't know if that's relevant. This is from Garrett in Texas. It says this side up and it's got some big square logos on. That's what we like. Ooh, I was thinking of doing some uh, some new stuff on Patreon because I haven't really experimented with it that much. I was thinking about doing like a monthly poll, like introduce a new tier and let people vote on what review they want. Like once 200's out of the way, I'm going to try and do like regular weekly reviews, like all the new stuff, all the stuff I like. And I'm thinking I might put one monthly review up for a vote. So I'm I'll give you four categories to vote on, and then whichever one wins, I'll give you four toys that fit into that. And then whichever one wins, I'll do a review about it. That could work, right? I'm pretty fortunate that I'm in the position that I'm going to be able to try things out. So I'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Just let me get the next one out of the way. And indeed, let me open up this package. Oh, Garrett, you came and you sent me a parrot. I really hope it's not a parrot. Ooh, tasty looking packing peanuts. Strawberry flavor. Uh, read after opening. Avoiding the spoilers, that's how we operate. Uh, just like a cookie bag. <laughs> Hello, it's another small statue sound wave. It's from a kid robot, it says. 2017 Hasbro, don't recognize this. It's very box art faithful. He looks slightly sad, what's, what's the matter, mate? This quality of plastic is, Bringing back some very specific memories. I had a, um, as a kid, as a very little kid, when I was like two or three, I had a Thomas the Tank Engine that was made out of this kind of chunky, squishy plastic, and I dropped it at the bus stop, and I was devastated. I couldn't find it. It was gone forever, and uh, that's something about me you might not have known. So we have one tiny sound wave. We have a similar green bag. We're thinking hound? Probably not, right? These kind of things, they only tend to do like Soundwave, Megatron, Bumblebee, Optimus, maybe Starscream, maybe Grimlock. Oh, speaking of which, yes indeed. Oh. 
Oh, that's interesting. A very sort of morose looking Megatron with a with a dino hand and a ball and chain coming out of his gun. Is that how that works? What is this? God, it's so ominous. It's like a creepy cyborg man. I am Iron Man. Is this a Beast Wars thing? Or is, oh, it's extremely grimlocky on its own, on its own terms. What am I looking at? Where has this come from? Utter bewilderment. Now, it's a very big box for such tiny items. Ooh, we have a big blister and I'm gonna drop these. Oh God. Ah, I hate mess, I'm English. Ooh. Boom? Whoa, all right, cool. Mitten package R.I.D. Hightower? Oh yeah, this is part of the uh, build team combiner. I got, um, someone sent me Grimlock recently as well, didn't they? Flipping heck, we're two down on the build gang already. Look at this. Mint in package, no less. Good God. Now, let's see what he's saying. Hard here from Texas, you. On your first diet open of the year, you received an R.I.D. Grimlock. I certainly did. <laughs> okay, so we found this in a local comic shop and knew the guy who wanted one. And this is from uh, Mage the Mage. God, that's really nice. Thank you, mate. We're gonna have a friggin' landfill in no time. I'm a happy few this evening. Good God. Am I ever not, though? <laughs> Brilliant. So thank you, Mage. That's a really thoughtful thing of you to do. And a cheers to Jim for the uh, cheeky MicroMasters and this thing. This isn't part of this, is it? No, there, there is a dump truck, but it's not this one. Okay, I've always got room for more dump trucks, especially when they look like me. <laughs> and thanks again to Graham for the lovely new Optimus Man and that big old book as well. Marvelous. All right, so we shall leave it at that and I shall get to work on the next episode and I shall see you when it drops. Later, Tater. <laughs> Random patron shout out. Oh, he's doing this thing again. Let's make it a regular one, shall we? Big thanks this week to Andy Dalton for pledging like a legend. Got you right here, bro. Peace. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.